Hey everyone, and welcome back to Authentic Worth Publishing, bringing worth back into you through storytelling and book writing. In today's video, I want to talk about the relationship between the author journey and the publisher. Now, I wanna talk about my experiences on how I started my author journey and to navigate my way around where, as a business, I am today. So firstly, I started writing after university while I was trying to find a full-time job in marketing or property. And thankfully, I landed myself a property job in 2016. Between the years of 2013 to 2016, I was consistently looking for jobs, which wasn't easy. So within that time frame, I decided to write out everything that I was feeling. And at the time, I was invited to learning how to journal my thoughts on paper. And that's when in 2014, I decided to host my first blog, which is currently running today, 10 years in, called the Women's Work Conference Group, which I'm so glad and grateful that so many people around the world are benefiting from. This is such a touching moment for me because one of my posts in 2015 called Trust Me, someone recently responded to it and they said, this post is specifically for me. You never know that even writings that you have done in the past can still have an impact today. So I want to encourage someone right now before I proceed, if you feel like your work isn't being seen or your work isn't being valued, just know that at the appointed time, the right people will find it and they will gravitate to that. So moving on, when I started my blog, I decided to turn it into a book because I was very mindful that not a lot of people like reading long words online. For me personally, which is one of the reasons why I prefer paperback books, I knew that having a paperback book and something where people can highlight words, put a bookmark in, take it with them wherever they go is so useful and handy. But of course, I know that the digital landscape is changing now, so there are benefits for both. I did a recent video about paperback books and eBooks, which I will also link in the description bar below. So after I decided to turn my journal and my blog into a book, I published it in 2016 called It's Time to Heal. So this is my first book that I wrote in 2016. And this book is catered to women to learn about who they are becoming through self-discovery and freedom. And this book shaped who I was becoming at the time in 2014 into 2016. And then it continued all the way up till now where we are. So in 2017, I published my second book, Completion. In 2019, I published my third book, From Glory to Glory. In 2020, I published The Power of a Forward Thinking Mindset. In 2021, I published Confident Face. In 2022, I published The Abundant Progress Book. And in 2023, I published my recent latest book, The Becoming Woman. And a while back, I was doing a comparative between my first book, It's Time to Heal, and my seventh book, The Becoming Woman, and seeing that the writing is totally different. It's so beautiful how you can see the journey of your writing grow. The people that we've met along the way through the books published, and not just my books personally, but books that our authors have also written and published with us as well. But I wanna really talk about the importance of understanding and embracing your journey into writing. And I encourage you that writing is not a sprint. It is a pace-by-pace, step-by-step process. We recently received an email from an aspiring author who is looking to publish their book. Now, the vision of the book sounds great and powerful, but the problem was that it was so broad that they weren't able to narrow down who their target market is. And when we had someone else proofread and edit it, they gave good feedback on what to do to improve. As a seasoned publisher and writer. I've come to the stage where I know what authors should be looking at and what authors should avoid. And one of the great things that authors, especially those who are aspiring to be authors, tends to focus on is how big they want their book, how broad they want their book. And that is great. It's a good vision to have. But if you don't know the basics, such as your target audience, or explaining your message in a few words or a few sentences to someone that you don't know, it will be very difficult for you to scale that book. And at Authentic Worth, we don't produce anything in haste. We understand that books take so much time, 
because your life is taking time. Your life is a process. You're taking it one step at a time. You celebrate your birthday every single year and that is a process. And again, you are learning about yourself. You are becoming. That's why the relationship between the author and the publisher is so important. And we want to encourage our authors that not only are we there for them, but yes, they need to put in the work, but they also need to be patient in the process. There are some books which we are already aware of that can scale immediately because it's the right time for it to scale. But there are some books that take time and that's still a good thing. That could be an opportunity for you to go back and find out what areas to tweak the book if needed. Or if you believe that your book is excellent, you might be targeting the wrong people that don't need it. You're not going to buy something that you don't believe you need. Or you're not going to buy something that is quite similar to what someone else has. You need to make your book so convincing that someone needs it. And how do you do that? By understanding your target audience. And that customer journey is able to produce that. You find out how did your readers find the book? You ask them for reviews. You give them opportunities to exchange a review for another book. For those of you who are very generous to give, because there are really great authors out there who just give and give and give their books. And that's a good thing. Some people, they write books just for family and friends and they keep it intimate. And that's a beautiful thing. Other authors write books for the wider community and therefore a bit more work needs to be put in there. But it doesn't mean that that book will not be successful. Your book can be successful in the eyes of a few and you can have peace about that rather than trying to scale and can't handle the pressure because you have pushed yourself to say, I need to sell X amount of books. If I don't sell this X amount of books, I'm going to give up. That's the wrong mindset to have. Your book is not for you. Remember that. Your book is for your readers. It's for your audience locally and globally. I still remember in 2021, I went through recently some of my accounts for my books. I saw 28 books being purchased for Confident Face, even when I did not promote the book online. That moment encouraged me and made me realise that Confident Face is a book that so many people will be needing, not only now, but for the future. To give you an insight into Confident Face, it is a book that I wrote and published about my skincare journey how I overcame spots and acne with using a few products and identifying the things that I needed to work on internally. But it's not just about the products that you're using. What is it? Your mental state. How is your mental well-being? How are you seeing yourself? How are you looking after yourself? Confident Faith is one of my greatest books to date and it really represents who I am. I'm so grateful that I've overcome that season of having inconsistent spots. And now I'm so confident to talk about my skin. Thankfully, my skin is so much better now. And within three months, my skin was completely clear because I was very consistent and intentional about what to do to get rid of them. And this is why your book is a solution to somebody. This is why your book is the reason why people have hope for tomorrow that they can talk about their struggles, knowing that someone else can relate to it. How are you able to relate to other people with your story? There are books right now that are being published and they speak to the heart. There are so many books that I personally read in the past and oh my goodness, I can read it again and again and again. Because when you read a book in one season, it won't be the same way you read it in another season. You will find something uniquely different. There was even a moment in time I had to reread all my seven books and I smiled and I said, what? Did I really write this? Because when moments in life gets difficult, you think about a specific title of a book that resonates with your season. And when you read it, it brings back so much hope. It brings back memories and it brings back the purpose of why you started. Why did you start that book in the first place? Why, in fact, would you even want to give up just because it's not scaling the way you thought it would be? It is a product all by itself that can attract so many opportunities of growth if you know how to market it well and you know your purpose behind the book. Don't just publish a book because you want to be seen as the most successful author in your field. 
write a book because you are an expert in what you believe in and you want to help other people transform their lives for good. I love reading books about people's upbringings, what they've been through. And some of the books that we are currently in the process of publishing now are about people's upbringings and their lifestyles and what they've been through. And it is so encouraging. Sometimes we don't realise that because we've been brought up in one way, we don't realise that we've got a world of people that were brought up in different ways. And that's what makes life so beautiful. It makes life so relatable. I will buy books that I believe resonate with my season. I'm a reader of seasons. I don't just buy a book because it's out straight away. I need to take my time to do my research, to read the reviews, to understand where am I in my life. When your publisher takes the time to understand the nature and the vision of your book, how are you building that relationship with your publisher? and vice versa. The publisher should also be able to give sound and concrete feedback on what needs to be improved in that manuscript. So it can be elevated and enhanced for the better of the community and those that the book is looking to target. It's a relationship. Remember the video that I spoke about regarding book partnership? We need to learn how to collaborate with people. And I remember my first collaboration was in lockdown with a lady that wrote her first children's book and it was beautiful. And then we built up that momentum by interviewing our other authors. And in that same year, although we wasn't able to have the authors of our generation event in person, we held it online. And all those who published their book with us in 2020 had the opportunity to showcase their books on Zoom. And it was a great event. So I want to encourage you, how is your relationship with your author journey? Are you being kind to yourself? Are you taking your time to understand what this book means, not only for you, but how will it change someone's life? This book changed my life so much because I thought that being in the process of discovering who I was was a difficult process. But I realised that the more I started speaking about what I was struggling with, the better I became at relating to other people and therefore joined them on their healing journey. I still remember the book launch I had for this book and oh my goodness, not only was it full, there were so many people that I didn't know that came and that is what impact is about. Because the joy that you get within to know that someone has been impacted by your book super exceeds you trying to push it forcefully on the market and trying to get everyone to buy it when it's not in their current season. Healing takes time. And this is what the book is about. It's time to heal. It takes time. It's a journey. Whether you are an author of one book or author of three books, it is a journey. For authors that have a book already, you might be considering to write another one. It is a journey and it takes time. I know, unfortunately, we live in a very instant gratified world, but as a business, we're not moved by that. We are authentic worth, bringing worth back into you through storytelling. Storytelling takes time. Book writing, my goodness, it takes more time. You can speak your story, but writing it and encapsulating it in a book takes so much time and grace, and you need to do it very well. Don't underestimate the journey of your writing between yourself and the publisher. Use and soak up as many opportunities as you can to join memberships for businesses and authors, to join workshops and seminars run by companies that want to help you. It is very important. Network with other authors. Share your ideas with people. Don't keep them in by yourself power in communication when it's done the right way. All the journey and the relationship between the publisher and yourself is vital to where you are going. You need the right people that can understand the value of your story. And when you have those people, cherish them. Book for mentoring, book for coaching, book for one-to-one -one consultations. You will not go wrong. When I started my first book, I didn't have the one-to-one -one accountability coaching sessions that we provide today. I didn't have the one-to-one -one consultations and the workshops, but I had belief. 
I had confidence to know that even though I'm doing this by myself, it is possible for me to help other people. And that's what we're doing now. You become a self starter or self taught, and then you get better. You build on your knowledge and your capability and skills, and then you share that knowledge with others on the journey. And therefore, you're willing to help people grow just as you have grown right now. So embrace the author journey. Don't underestimate where you are because there's beauty in your writing season. If you're still in the writing mode, enjoy it. If you need to take the time to publish a book, even if it takes you a couple of months, take that time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Really hoping that it has encouraged you to take your time to learn about the relationship between the author and the publisher and the journey that you have to take to get to the next level. We want to encourage you that as you write and as you continue to share your ideas with others, it will become better, easier and more purposeful. I wish you all the best with your writing journey. Authentic Work is here to help you. If you have any questions, please do email us at info at authenticworth.com. And if you would like to be a part of our growing mailing list, please do email info at authenticworth.com as well. Many thanks and I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video. All the best with your writing and take care. Bye-bye.